Well, Summit League fans are familiar with the saga of Oakland women's basketball coach Becky Francis. She was a victim of childhood sexual abuse and has come out in the last few years with her story and used it to help raise awareness and help others fight their fear. Neil Rule has the latest from New Orleans on Francis's ongoing campaign of compassion. Welcome to the 2013 NCAA Women's Final Four in New Orleans. My name is Neil Rule. It was a big weekend for Oakland women's head basketball coach Becky Francis in the Big Easy. She was in town to accept her USBWA Pat Summit Most Courageous Award. Coach Francis used the opportunity to teach other coaches about being a leader off the floor. She made a lot of noise about a silent epidemic. Hi, my name is Becky Francis. I'm the head women's basketball coach at Oakland University. A lot of coaches are going to be doing these videos and they're going to be talking about X's and O's and baseline out of bound plays and the latest trapping defense. But what I'm going to talk about is a topic that needs to be talked about but no one wants to. And that's childhood sexual abuse. The reason I chose the topic is because I'm a survivor. I was sexually abused by my father from the age of four until I was 13. And the reason I'm speaking out is because I think that things that are happening in society have to stop. And some of the things that we can do as coaches and administrators and parents are to look for these signs and then try to educate our kids on how to tell and not let the perpetrators tell you to keep it a secret. There's really good information out there and statistics that I think coaches should talk to their teams about that one in four girls and one in seven boys are sexually abused by the time they're 18 and that's what's reported. I think that number is way higher. So I think coaches can really create a safe place. We get really close to our players and we recruit them. We know their families, we know them inside and out and to strike up a conversation and just say, hey did something happen to you? I wish someone said that to me. They'll probably deny it. I denied it for 30 years. But just the thought that someone actually noticed and maybe suggested a conversation was a seed that would be planted and then someday maybe they would come forward. One of the topics that I put on here, uh, silent epidemic and what do these uh, people or things all have in common? The Pat Summit Most Courageous Award, Miss America, R.A. Dickey, the New York Mets pitcher who's now with the Blue Jays, Glamour Woman of the Year, and legislatures and Oprah, the common theme in all of them is sexual child abuse. The game of life. I mean, obviously you guys play the game between the lines. It's about putting the ball in the basket. It's about stopping the other team from putting the ball in the basket. But really, when you boil it all down, your program, your legacy as a coach, isn't necessarily what happens on the floor between the lines, but it's about what your players go on to do later in life. A lot of coaches go through a lot of things with their 18 to 22 year olds before they go off and graduate. And most of the stuff I do as a coach is I'm a counselor. We see them come in with issues and we hope to help them get healthy and leave with a degree and a ring and hopefully some really good self-worth and more confidence and that they've dealt with some of the mental health issues that are out there in society today for all adolescents and then teenagers and young adults. You want to make these ladies better when they leave. Um, you know, it's not just about the basketball. You want to help them develop. Uh, I always tell in our program is, you know, you want them to be able to be successful in their families and their marriages and their jobs. Um, and if we've done that, you know, we've had a success. Coach Francis impacted so many people just by having that story out there. She is now giving coaches a way, the, the freedom to feel comfortable to have that conversation with their players. When we sat down at the table and she talked about her own personal experience dealing with sexual abuse and dealing with all the adversity that she had to go through and not being able to talk about it up until a certain point in her life, you look at somebody like that and say to yourself, wow, I'm in a great position of authority as a coach, as a role model for young women. As coaches, we know how to deal with it. It's great information. I know a lot of the coaches are coming up to her thanking her personally for coming out and speaking about it. So uh, it's a great turnout. Thank, Thank you, guys. So God bless you, too, oh, for sitting no down. We don't mind at all. All right. Jenny, thank you for coming. Well, you can see and hear more of Neil Rule's uh, ongoing series with Coach Becky Francis at the Oakland University website at OUGrizzlies.com. And we've got the campus spotlight on the Rubot in Kansas City when we come back.